seniors if you don't want to miss any of the videos uploaded by me please follow these steps in your cell phone open youtube and in the search box type shaker mass you will see my photograph in a circle and also a subscribe button so touch the subscribe button and also touch the bell icon and select all you will get instant notifications whenever i upload any of my video welcome to shaker maths today we are going to learn 6th class mathematics 10th chapter practical geometry exercise 10.3 before going to do the exercise let us learn the concept let us learn the concept of constructing copy of an angle using compass without using protractor for this let us take an example angle cab and use the compass put the sharp end at a and draw an arc with some radius cutting the above and below sides at the points c and b respectively put a point a and draw a ray through it and with the same compass with the same radius at center a draw the same arc now measure the length of the arc cb and with that radius draw an arc cutting the previous arc now the intersecting points are identified and named as c and b respectively now join a and c now a new copied angle c a b is formed now let us measure whether these two angles are correct or not using protractor using protractor the problem figure is showing 50 degrees and copied angle is also showing 50 degrees so correct angle is constructed angular bisector angle means angle bi means two sections means parts that is a line which divides the given angle into two parts is called angular bisector kona samadvi khandana reka kona sama ante samanamaina dvi ante rendu khandana ante bhagalu ichina kona ni rendu samana bhagalu ga chese rekane kona samadvi khandana reka antam the line which divides the given angle into two equal parts is called angular bisector let us take an example take an angle cab let it be measured as 50 degrees if a red line is drawn in between the 50 degrees angle so that the angle 50 degrees is divided into two equal angles 25 degrees 25 degrees then the line red line ar is called the angular bisector because it is dividing the 50 degrees into 25 degrees into 25 degrees now how to construct angular bisector for this let us take an example angle mon let us measure the angle using protractor right hand side lower scale 0 10 20 and so on 50 degrees the line is showing so angle mon is 50 degrees now take the compass and put the sharp end at o with center o with some radius draw an arc cutting the om and on sides at p and q respectively now take the more the more than half of the length of the pq as radius with center b draw an arc with the same radius with center q draw another arc cutting the previous arc now the two arcs are intersected now join the intersecting point with o draw a line now measure the angle with the protractor the angular bisector is showing 25 degrees so the angle 50 degrees is divided into two equal parts 25 degrees 25 degrees so the red line is the angular bisector now exercise 10.3 first problem construct the following angles with the help of a protractor solution one angle a b c 65 degrees take any two points b and c draw a ray through it put the base of the protractor on the line b c and the center at b now on the right hand side lower scale five lines after 60 that is 65 put a point and name it as a now connect b a draw a line now angle a b c is 65 degrees now number two angle p q r is equal to 136 degrees take any two points q and r draw a ray through it put the base of the protractor on the line q r and at the center q 
Now on the right hand side lower scale 0 10 20 to right hand side to left hand side 6 lines after 130 that is 136 put a point and name it as P and draw a ray through QP now the angle PQR is 136 degrees now third angle Y is equal to 45 degrees put any two points Y and Z and draw a ray through it put the base of the protractor on the line YZ and at the center Y on the right hand side lower scale 5 lines after 40 put a point and name it as X now draw a ray through YX now angle XYZ is equal to 45 degrees now fourth angle O is 172 degrees take any two points OP and draw a ray through it Put the base of the protractor on the line OP and at the center O. Now on right hand side lower scale 0, 10, 20 and so on. That is right hand side to left hand side. Two lines after 170 that is 172. Put a point and name it as N. And now draw a ray through ON. Now angle NOP is 172 degrees. Now number 2. Copy the following angles in your notebook and find their bisectors let us take the first problem figure now we have to construct the copying the angle using compass take a compass put the sharp end at the corner with some radius draw an arc now take a point B and draw a ray through it now with center B with the same radius draw an arc using compass now take the length of the arc of the problem figure and uh, with the same radius draw an arc cutting the previous arc and identify the intersecting points and name it as A and C. Join the points B and A with a ray. Now angle ABC is formed. Take the protractor find the angles. The problem figure is showing 60 degrees. And the copied angle is also showing 60 degrees. So, correct copied angle is constructed. Let us construct angular bisector for the angle ABC. For this, take the compass, put the pointer at A and see the more than half the distance of AC. Take it as radius and with center A, draw an arc. With the same radius, with center C, draw another arc cutting the previous arc. Now join the intersection of the arcs with the center B and draw a ray through it. This is the angular bisector. Let us see it with a protractor. The line is dividing the 60 degrees angle into equal 30 degrees angles. So the angular bisector is constructed. Now second problem construction of copying the angle. Take the problem and take the compass, put the sharp end at the corner with some radius, draw an arc. Now take a point B, draw a ray through it with center B, with same radius, draw the same arc with compass. Now take the length of the arc with the same length radius, draw an arc cutting the previous arc. Now. The intersecting points are identified and name it as A and C. Join B and A with a ray. Now angle ABC is formed. Let us measure the angle with a protractor. The problem figure is showing 50 degrees. And the copied angle is also showing 50 degrees. So correct copied angle is constructed. Let us construct angular bisector for the angle ABC. For this Take the compass, put the sharp end at A and take the more than half of the length of the AC as radius and with center A draw an arc. Now with center C with same, same radius draw another arc cutting the previous arc. Now the intersection of the arcs and B is connected with a ray. This is the angular bisector. Take the protractor and see that the angular bisector is showing 25 degrees. So total 50 degrees is divided into two equal angles. So 25 degrees and 25 degrees. 
Now third problem figure construction of copying angle. Take the compass, put the sharp end at the corner with some radius, draw an arc. Now take a point B, draw a ray through it with the center B with same radius, draw an arc using compass. Now take the length of the arc as radius. Now draw an arc cutting the previous arc and the intersection points are identified and named it as A and C. Now join B and A with a ray. Angle A, B, C is formed. Now let us measure it with a protractor. The problem figure is showing 120 degrees. The copied angle is also showing 120 degrees. So correct copied angle is constructed. Let us construct an angular bisector for the angle A, B, C. For this, take the compass. See the more than half the length of the AC as radius. With center A, draw an arc. Now, with center C, with same radius, draw another arc, cutting the previous arc. Now, the intersection of the arcs and the point B is connected with a ray. This is the angular bisector. So, let us measure it with a protractor. The angular bisector is showing 60 degrees. So, the total 120 degrees angle is divided into two equal angles, 60 degrees and 60 degrees. Now problem figure 4, construction of copying angle, take a point B, draw a ray through it, take the compass, put the sharp end at the corner with some radius, draw an arc on the problem figure. Now with the same radius at center B, draw an arc with the compass. Now take the length of the arc with compass and with this radius, Draw an arc cutting the previous arc. Now intersection points are identified and they are named as A and C. Join B and A with a ray. Now angle A, B, C is formed. Let us measure it with a protractor. The problem figure is showing 30 degrees. The copied angle is also showing 30 degrees. So correct copied angle is constructed. Now let us construct an angular bisector for angle ABC. For this, take more than half the length of AC as radius and with center A, draw an arc with a compass and with the center C, with same radius, draw another arc cutting the previous arc. Now draw a ray through the point B and the intersection of arcs. This is the angular bisector for angle ABC. Let us measure it with a protractor. See that the angular bisector is showing 15 degrees. So the total angle is 30 degrees is divided into two equal angles. So 15 degrees, 15 degrees. Thanks for watching video. Don't forget to subscribe. Say karma.